everyone, my name is Anne Revo and I'm a designer with craftshoeprint.com. To see any of my designs, go to the website www.craftshoeprint.com slash Today I'd like to show you how to make this card using one of my sheets. It's an 8x8 card and it's a 3D decoupage topper. So that's the card. And the items you're going to need to be able to make the card is 8x8 square folded card of your choice, 3D foam, flat tape or a glue, a flat glue runner, glossy accents, stickles, scissors and an invaluable Crafty Bob bone folder. So once you've downloaded your sheet, it's going to look like this. The cup number for the sheet is actually 290740 underscore 10. So you will download the sheet and on it you have the main base image and then you have the decoupage pieces to be able to create a 3D effect on the card. So we're going to start off and cut out a few of our pieces. Now to save a little bit of time, I've already done that. So I've already cut out the base image, I've also cut out the roses, the ink bottle and the spare butterfly. So we'll put that to one side. Now you might have noticed on the card itself, I've highlighted the roses and the ink bottle with what looks like glitter. I've used the Stickles glitter glue to do this just to give it a bit of definition and I've also used the glossy accents on the butterflies to give them a little bit of oomph as well. Now I'd like to show you how to be able to do that. So I'll pop that there. Now on the roses, as you see where they're highlighted with the glue, put them to one side there. I've picked a darker colour rose just so you can actually see, um, see it a little bit clearer. On the actual roses that I've already done, you'll see that the glitter actually picks up the colour underneath it and it turns in. That's because I've used the diamond colour of the stickles and it's a clear glitter and you'll be able to see underneath it, it picks up the colour. Now you simply squeeze your bottle and I'm squeezing it onto the darker shading areas on the rows. You leave it to dry, you don't have to squash it down or anything because it's self leveling and you can put as much on or as little as you like. I've actually, I've put quite a lot on and I've tried to cover nearly all the dark lines in the areas um, which I would have thought on the flower itself it's the veins that you're picking up and the shadowing like so and then you would set that to one side to dry and give it maybe 30 minutes 45 minutes for it to actually dry and it'll just turn down like that and it'll all shade in and then it'll look like you've actually got even more definition into the flowers i've added a little bit on the ink bottle just onto the stopper and on the glass part at the bottom I haven't put anything on the butterfly however on the butterfly on one of the roses I've used glossy accents now all you simply do for that open the bottle and squeeze onto the area that you would be applying the glossy accents to like so now this is self leveling and you can put again as much or as little on as you like and then you're going to let it dry for maybe a little bit longer than the stickles, maybe an hour, uh, with it being a larger area. I've already done that because we want to be able to put our card together. So we're going to start now by putting the items on the card. I've saved a little bit of time by adding the base already. So that's already on there. I'm going to add the first rose, which is the one at the corner. I've put 3D foam squares on the back of the rose because I want to give it a little bit of definition. So we'll peel the back of the foam, tape, uh, foam squares off. 
we'll add it onto the card over the actual image already that's on the base sheet like so quite simple and then we'll do the next one with the butterfly on at the top corner again I've put my foam pads on the back just to save a little bit of time so I'll peel those off like so and then we'll put the rose on top of the rose on the base image like so and then the ink bottle again I've already put the foam pads at the back of it I shall just peel the backs off like so and then attach it to the card itself marrying up the image underneath like so so that's mainly the card finished however on the actual finished card we've got a 3d butterfly that's flying away at the side of the ink pot so that's what we're going to do next so i've cut out the butterfly that's on the sheet and i'm literally going to take my bone folder and I'm going to run the bone folder along one side of the butterfly's body, like so. And then at the other side, it doesn't have to be exact. And then once I've done those, I'm just going to fold the wings in a little bit. Like that. So you end up with a flat base at the back. Now on there, you're going to attach, put your glue. So I'm going to, for quickness, use glossy accents. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the base of the butterfly there. I'm going to put a flying butterfly on the top of it, like so, marrying up the pattern underneath. Now that will want 10-15 minutes to dry thoroughly. And once that's dry, you can add a little bit more glossy accents to the top of the butterfly along the body just to give it a little bit more definition as in the first card that I showed you on the demonstration just for, and that will hold that butterfly firmly in place and the wings curl up and it'll look as though it's flying away from the page so the final thing I have to do on my card is just to add a bow now I've already prepared one I've used a contrasting colour and I'm going to attach that using a 3D foam pad I shall put that on the back of the bow like so peel the back off and attach it just above the postcard greeting like that and there we have a finished card I'd like to thank you very much for watching and I hope you'll join me again on Cook TV Thank you very much. See you next time.